Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Naomi and this channel is called the Easy QS channel. This is a channel where we help students uh, go through their notes, understand concepts that they couldn't have understood in class, and mostly we deal with building and civil engineering units. So in case you have any units that you would want us to discuss, this is the right channel. We do it for free using our videos. And in case you need private tutorials, you can always contact me via my email, which is in the description box. Maybe you have an assignment that is so hard for you, you can still contact me and I will help you. So uh, in this unit, we do mostly quantity surveying stuff and also some civil engineering. And nowadays we are doing mathematics. So in case you have any hardship in all these units, check out for our videos and uh, in case you have any feedback just write it in the comments section we'll be able to attend to it in case we do good videos in case we have been a blessing to you and in case we have areas or to improve on just tell us and we shall be uh, looking at your comments uh, we shall be doing live classes very soon and we will we would want you to join so that you can ask any questions that you could be having uh, we shall be doing the live classes for to all our subscribers so if you haven't subscribed uh, kindly subscribe so that you can be able to be able to ask questions and also to be responded to and also so that we can help you in your exams as we will need you to succeed So in today's video, we are discussing about a process of doing evaluation for the work in progress. We already said that uh, the contractor is not paid the full amount of money at the end of the project. We usually pay him at every stage and these stages are mostly monthly. Every month the quantity surveyor goes to site and uh, measures all the work that the contractor has done together with all the materials that are on site so that you can be able to compensate the contractor so that he can be able to continue with the project. So what is this process? You could be asked and maybe you need to know as someone in the construction industry what is the process of doing the payment? The first step that they con uh, we do so that we can pay this main contractor is that his estimator, his quantity surveyor, has to measure all the work that he has done. The estimator for the contractor should measure all the work that the contractor has done together with all the materials on site. Then, uh, after he has measured, he should uh, give the valuation to the QS. He should go back to the uh, bill of quantity, get the rates that were used to pay, that should be used to pay that work. He should measure all the variations that has happened. Maybe uh, we sit with the QS and come up with star rates if that work was not the same as the ones that was there. Maybe come up with pro rata rates if the work is of a different nature. And maybe uh, calculate their works with the quantity surveyor so that they can know for what about for the variations. Uh, what, uh, how shall he be paid? So he should measure all the work and all the materials. He should uh, also remember to measure the variations that has happened and together with the day works, then you should give the valuation to the quantity surveyor for the clients, all right? So that is the first step. The estimator for the contractor should do that work. Measure all the work, all the materials, and all the variations, the day works, and all that variation, he should give it to the quantity surveyor. Quantity surveyor is appointed by the client to be in charge of the cost. Once he gives to the quantity surveyor, the next thing that he needs to do is the quantity surveyors need to agree with that valuation. And in case there are any adjustments that he deems necessary, he should, uh, he should agree with the valuation requesting for any adjustments. Maybe sometimes the, quantity, the estimator for the uh, contractor could have overdone some things. Maybe he could have measured some things that are not there. Actually, the quantity surveyor usually goes with his team to site, remeasures all that work to confirm. All right. So he, uh, after he has measured, 
he should come up to agree with the measurement of the estimator for the main contractor. In case there are any differences, they should go back to the work and measure that work. So the quantity surveyor should agree with the valuation, making a requesting for any adjustments that he deems necessary. If there is any disagreement in the measurement, they should go back and measure. In case there are any uh, disagreements when doing day works, calculating, the, con the main contractor should provide receipts for all the works that he has done so that they can be able to calculate their rates. Okay, so after that, uh, when the quantity surveyor has agreed, the next step that shall be done is that when the amount is agreed, the architect has to be informed. The architect is informed by the quantity surveyor. Remember, these two people are experts that have been hired by the client to overlook, to look into his project. The work of the client is only to pay. So the quantity surveyor, after doing the valuation and agreed to the, uh, to agreeing to the estimator's um, sum of money, who is on the side of the contractor, he will now come and inform the architect that this is the work that the contractor needs to be paid. So after the architect has been informed, he should prepare and sign the certificate after deducting 10% of the retention. The person who is in charge of preparing the certificate is the architect. The architect usually deducts a sum of money called the retention fee, which is often 10% of every payment that the main contractor receives. So he deducts 10% and prepares a certificate stating that uh, the contractor should be paid the 90%. Then, after he prepares and signs that certificate, the certificate is, is is sent to the main contractor together with the valuation all right so the valuation order uh -huh, is sent to the contractor along with the signed certificates then uh, it is then forwarded to the client the main contractor usually forward the certificate to the client stating that your team members that is the architect and the quantity surveyor has agreed they have agreed to the work that has been measured and uh, I, I have agreed that I should be paid this sum of money. Once the certificate reaches the client, then the client pays the main contractor. All right? Okay. There can be such as three to four weeks between the valuation and the payment. If you see the quantity surveyors on site, most likely they will not pay the next day because that whole process has to go through all right so that process takes a period of three to four weeks before the valuation is a uh, bit for the payment is done so if they do the evaluation this month most likely the contractor will be paid next month so by the time the payment is being done the contractor has already done a lot of other works so by the time the payment is coming they are coming to measure again all right those are the monthly payments that the contractor receives